So Newmarket obviously had been around for many years before the Irish potato famine. And as you can see, St. John Cemetery, which is the Catholic cemetery, um, opened in, in 1830. So there's no doubt there was an Irish Catholic population um, prior to the famine. However, in 1847, 48, 49, when the Irish famine was at its worst, we all know there was an influx of, of hundreds of thousands of, of Irish people. Um, and many of them came into Canada and traveled as far and further than Newmarket, Ontario. This is when some of the problems began. Firstly, a lot of the famine victims who survived and got to Canada were obviously sick. Um, typhus was a problem, other diseases. Poverty obviously was a problem. Um, so that when the Irish Catholics did settle in areas such as Newmarket, understandably to a certain extent, people were fearful of them perhaps. However, it went further than that. Um, a lot of the differences between the Protestants and Catholics that were happening in Canada were brought here and um, the, it was alive and well in many Canadian towns and Newmarket was no different. So much so that where we're standing right now which is um, Main Street North, um, the main thoroughfare of Newmarket is, is just to my right, Davis Drive. Patty Town became named such because Irish Catholics were virtually corralled into this area. They were not allowed to live south of um, Davis Drive where other people were. So this um, term which might, may, people may seem to think as affectionate nowadays was certainly not intended as such at the time. My great great grandparents would have been part of this population that would have lived in this area and would have been forced to live in this area. Uh, what a, an amazing day it must have been for my great grandfather who eventually bought a house um, south of Davis Drive where he was finally allowed to live and, and live freely as everyone else did. Um, in addition to that, in Pattytown, where Irish Catholics were forced to live, uh, they were not allowed to hold office. Um, and even the practice of religion was not greatly um, advocated at the time, even though it did happen. And there were missions and, and Irish priests that uh, kept the, the Catholic religion alive and well here. It's very obvious that for many years Irish Catholics did have to endure a great deal of, um, I'll, I'm going to say racism, um, because they were at the hands of other people who did not understand them. And the socioeconomic conditions in Ireland that they brought with them obviously only hindered that situation. Happily, in 2013, we do just have a sign that says Patty Town. We look back, we remember, we never forget, but um, there's no sense of, of there being that, um, that sentiment alive here now, which is obviously wonderful. It's nice to know that we've moved ahead in, in certain areas. But it's important to remember, as I said, and when we look at, at these you know, memories and, and signs that, that make us see what was in the past, we hope that we can move forward and not relive the painful past again.